I call the next part of the dinner special podcast the pressure cooker. I'm going okay. to ask you seven <laughs> fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? I am. Okay, great. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? Way too many. Uh, definitely Ina Garden, Extra Virgin, Bitch in Kitchen, yeah, probably some others, but those come to mind. Yeah, cool. Number two, what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Uh, definitely Food 52. I think it's just, it's beautiful and smart. It has so much great content on there. Um, Orange Jet, uh, Molly A, I think I mentioned her. She's just incredibly creative. She had like gummy bear sangria on there the other day. <laughs> She's just insane in a very good way. Right. Um, two Red Bulls I really like. She has beautiful photography and some very cool recipes and from her background, like her perspective for sure, which is interesting. And um, Local Milk has really beautiful photos and recipes as well. Awesome. Awesome. Well, number three, who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, or Twitter that make you happy? Huh. Do they have to be food people? <laughs> no, they can be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On Let's see, Instagram, I follow Food52, uh, Jillian Guyette, she has a food blog and she just has a really beautiful aesthetic. It's very kind of minimalist and she cooks a lot with her fiance, so I kind of relate to that. I like her stuff a lot. Right. Um, who else? Uh, on Twitter, I really like Naturally Ella. She's funny. Um, who else? Kristen Bell. Not food related, but since Veronica Mars, I am forever a fangirl. Cool. And her husband, Dax Shepard. Yep. Uh, and you said Pinterest too, right? Yeah. Uh, Pinterest, you know, I, I don't follow as closely, but um, who do I follow on there? Gosh. Joy the Baker. She's good. She has a lot of curated boards. Right, right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, number four. What is something all home cooks should have in their pantry? In their pantry? Um, canned beans. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, beans, for me, I grew up eating beans and rice. That's my comfort food. And while I love, you know, beans made from scratch, I don't always have the time to do it. And if you have a can of beans, you can make dinner. Right. Perfect. Number five, name one ingredient you cannot live without. Garlic. Yeah. Yep. Hey, number six. What are a few cookbooks that make your life better? They make my life better. Um, you know, one that I got recently that is excellent is uh, from my friend Molly Gilbert. She blogs at Duncan Crumble, and the book is Sheet Pan Suppers, which is a really brilliant idea because I, I mean, I love the oven just to kind of throw it in there and let the oven do most of the work, you know? Right. And she has a lot of really smart recipes in there. There's one where you're using like the tube, the polenta that comes in the tube, which yep. I don't usually buy, but I got for the recipe and you do with sausage and roasted grapes in there and thyme and it's it's so good and it's just on one sheet pan. Yeah, I mean that is a great idea because you know a lot of us are really busy, like whether we're doing work from nine to five or, or whatever, right. or have kids and having you know multiple dishes going on at the same time is just sometimes too overwhelming and way too much like boiling <laughs> water is going on and sauce is happening and trying to sear some yeah. meat you know like oh, yeah. having everything in like a crock pot for example is is phenomenal or having something completely done on one sheet is just so such a great idea and so convenient so that's definitely one i mean for sure it's so great and then um anything otolenghi like his book plenty i just it's constantly inspiring. Like I don't necessarily make all that stuff, especially not on a weeknight, but it's a lot of inspiration in a book. Right. Great. Number seven, the last question. What song or album just makes you want to cook? Just makes me want to cook. Um, I actually love cooking to um, Brazilian music. Okay. Um, like uh, samba and stuff like that. Yeah. Brazilian music, it's great kind of background noise, right. you know? Right. It's kind of lively. It's not sort of mm -hmm. bringing you down type of music. It's sort of like happy, right. go lucky stuff. Cool. Congratulations, Elena, Ileana. You have officially survived the pressure cooker. Yes. <laughs>